solely Comic Con fan experience. This is Danny and Joe from Different Cons Radio. Like, you already forgot, so you did. You told me that. So, as further evidence of our love for you, we're going to be bringing you the Citizens of Spirit Squad, crime fighting cheerleader. Thanks for having us. So, um, can you give us the scoop? Um, what is Spirit Squad about? Spirit Squad is about a team of crime fighting cheerleaders. It's a female superhero movie, Grand House. So, what, how did you come up with the idea of the Grand House? Well, I, it's, it's a matter of practicality as well as uh, artistic. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is that we're trying to get this movie shot on a budget of 30000 It's an action movie, car chases, explosions, light scenes that we see in the trailer, that sort of thing. So it literally has to be shot right now. So it has to be running guns. So we get one, two, three takes max and we move on. So instead of doing eight or ten setups in a day, we're looking for the So it gives us, I mean, stylistically, we like right now. So we love Tarantino, Robert Rodriguez, and kind of that new retro right now style. But it's also done to give us an excuse in case it doesn't work out. It's right now. So it gives us an easy out. <laughs> so what was it like then to be participating in the film like that once? What is the action sequences? It's a lot of fun. I get to kick a lot of butt being a cheerleader. Uh, it took me a little bit of practice to get kind of those martial arts down, but I'm getting a lot stronger from it. So, so you're going to Yeah, definitely. Hi there. So then what's going to be uh, coming up after this if you have uh, what you're done with spirits? Well, we do have a sequel in mind that does involve zombies. That's what I'll tell you. That's all we can say right now. We've got to get the first movie funded. It's wow. actually, it's actually true. The other second movie is in the first movie they save the town from the criminals. In the second movie they save the town from the zombies. And I'm not telling you what they do. Oh wow! So you got, but you got to up the ante. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, speaking of funding, we brought that up. I you said you were doing funding us to uh, Pixar. Can you go? Can you go? Go. Yeah, you just go to crimefightingcheerleaders.com or you can take you straight to our Google page or you can just go to Indiegogo.com and search for it. Right there. Yep. And how much time is that? 44 days. Uh, we just got it off yesterday and it was May 30th, the first of the And uh, like I said, it's a 30,000 dollar we are in it. It's not difficult here, I think, because everybody we talk to, there's over 30,000 people out there that would love to see this movie. All they have to do is just give us this song. So, we need to get the message out because if we don't get our funding, we don't get the video. Yeah, okay, we'll right there. So, is there uh, any, uh, anything in particular that you, know, that you think that you brought to the movie in, in, in itself that it's going to be distinct for you? Well, I think my goal for this movie is to really kind of motivate little girls, not their women, that they can be empowered and they can fight crime in their own way as well. So that's kind of our big motion for this movie is women empowerment. So, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. Oh, definitely. And that's, that's, that's a good that's point, that's too, that's because that's it's, uh, it's Grand House, but it's not exploitation. Yeah. I mean, this, this, this is a superhero movie. These, these women are the heroes. They're not being exploited. It's really awesome. All right. Thank Excellent. Alright, because we still love you, this is Dr. College Radio.